seeing how we just had the snow apocalypse hit us, and I know uh, 24 inches of snow isn't a lot in some places. In fact, that's just your ordinary standard day. But here around the DC area, it was pretty traumatic. So, in honor of the snow apocalypse, we're going to do one of these old school rash and coal weathers. And this is kind of a neat one. It comes in two packets. You uh, have the 2A version, which is the breakfast. And then you have uh, the 2B side, which is your pretty much your lunch and your dinner. So let's check these things out. Okay, I got these in uh, Jerry's big box of love that he sent me. So let's start off with breakfast. It has one of these uh, tear notches on it and I'm usually not too successful with those so I'll take the Juice S2 slice up the back of the bag so we can take a look at all the camouflage yummy goodness on the inside and on these old school ones there's no date code on the bag so as soon as we start exploring these we should find out when this is from maybe well we have the accessory packet and of course it tells you what is in it already but what fun would that be some cocoa beverage powder actually two bags of that the old school small sea rat type spoon some freeze-dried nut raisin mix, ration cold weather. So, some apple cider. Fruit fig bars. Fruit bars fig. So, probably like fig newtons. Still pretty soft in here, so that is pretty neat. Have some uh, chicken flavored soup. And lastly, we have some uh, oatmeal, apple, and cinnamon. So, I'm looking on here for some type of date codes. Oh, here we go. There is a date code. Uh, this could be from like 1990 or 1980. The 106th day. I'm not real sure. I know that these are pretty darn old. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, breakfast accessory pack real quick. I know it's got everything written on the outside of the bag, but what fun is that? Got everything out of there. All right, two packs of TP, some sugar, some uh, non-dairy creamer, pack of matches, coffee instant type one, yeah, this is the sorbic acid one. Some uh, chiclets gum. And it says, close your devices. So I'm assuming as soon as you open up your, uh, open up your bag, you're able to cinch this down and use, oh, if I can pick them up, use these to uh, tighten that back up for all your remainder, remaining goodies. So, cool. Okay, we'll start off with uh, instant oatmeal, apple and cinnamon. It calls for eight ounces of water. Well, I wasn't expecting that. That's interesting. Oh, man. Uh huh. How, uh, oh. Okay, yeah, a little bit leaked out. Awesome. All right, let's take our water. Let's roll this over real quick so we have a little seal. Hopefully it's a seal. It was supposed to be a seal last time. Mix this in a little bit. Let it aerate, and we'll just let that sit for a little bit, and we'll clean this mess up. 
Okay, the next thing we've got is the soup instant chicken flavored noodle. And it says a third of a canteen cup. So, nothing definite. You just kind of have to guesstimate. And it is the tiniest of tear notches. Hopefully we don't make a huge giant mess out of this. It all doesn't want to surrender. We'll give this a little stir. Oops. We'll let that sit a little bit while we are making our drinks. Okay, we'll start off with the cider. Again, it's about a half a canteen cup. So, got that about right here. Let's see if I've got a little tear notch. Almost wish the tear notches would be a little further up so you don't lose any any of the powder. Ah, crap. Just like that, some of it came out. And we'll give this a stir. And then lastly, the cocoa. It calls for about a quarter of a canteen cup of water. We'll just plop it in here in our coffee cup. Rinse a little notch. And we'll give this a stir. Okay, now for a twist. When I was in Germany, uh, we had we had some pretty cold weather. Uh, we didn't have these kind of rations, but with our hot chocolate, instead of drinking the coffee at times, especially how we had plenty of other liquids, we would make what was called ranger pudding. And if you were really tired, you actually took your coffee, put it in your pudding so it was caffeinated ranger pudding. So let's make that right now too. All right, I've grabbed a little tear notch. Rip that off. Make sure that you get all of your powder down at the bottom. We'll lean it against something so it all doesn't pour out. Take the sugar packet. Goes right inside. Same thing with the coffee packet. Come on. Open up, butter. It goes in two. And then your non-dairy creamer. It goes in as well. So now you've got all of those things in there. We'll give it a quick little mix. And now we're going to add some water to it. And you do this to the consistency that you like, depending on if you are actual... If you were in camp, if you were in garrison, or whatever you're doing, if you need to slurp it down like a thick drink, or if you actually want the consistency of pudding, that is how you do it. So this is a little soupy version of Ranger pudding. Now they also have the Ranger cookie. If you're able to have a, a, a heating device, trioxide bars, whatever you've got, you can lay this down right near the fire and this will harden and it'll make kind of a ranger cookie. Okay, the oatmeal has been kind of sitting there for a little while. It has really thickened up and absorbed all that water. So we'll start off by plating this first. And it is a pretty sizable amount of oatmeal, which you need that in the cold climate and conditions for all of the extra calories. And you can see there's still plenty left in there. So we've got the oatmeal. Then we've got some of these uh, nut raisin mix. Looks like it's just uh, kind of like a Mountain House Pro Pack. Very compressed uh, nut mix in this bag, which I can't seem to open up the damn tear pull. Yep, 
We've got all different kinds of nuts and peanuts and walnuts. In fact, I'll tell you exactly what's in here. It's got peanuts, raisins, walnuts, almonds, filberts, which are peanuts and walnuts coated with edible shellac. So, alrighty then. <clears throat> and then the last thing we have are these fruit bars figs, which are essentially going to be fig newtons. And they look like they've seen better days. I know when I was filming this, half the time I'm sitting here going, man, this is going to be like a Steve 1989 MRE Info video. And then, of course, we've got the soup on standby over here. But that is everything for the actual chow for breakfast. So, let's, uh, well, and then again, we've got the, the ranger pudding. I'll set that right there. All right, right there is our spoon. Some of the apple cider. Pour in this mug. Not a ton left over, but just enough. So, all right, let's give this stuff a try. Start off with the oatmeal. Apple cinnamon oatmeal. Okay, it tastes okay. I mean, it's 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 kind of bland. If you wanted to use your sugar, you could, or you could actually pour a little bit of that on your oatmeal to kind of spice it up. So here's some with a little bit of your Ranger pudding. Mine is a little liquefied more than I usually would have it when I was in a service, but that is what it is. Well, that definitely wakes it up, even though I poured way more than I had planned on putting in there. And they have a little bit of the Ranger pudding that we've made. I like it. it kind of brings me right back to when I was in the Army in the 80s and 90s. Okay, now the Fig Newtons of Death, or the Fig Bars of Death. All right. They look like tank treads, but they're actually still good. They actually taste okay. This one even tried to run away because it didn't want to be eaten. Go figure. All right. And then some of this fruit and nut mix. It has been in there so long that it actually had all compressed together. So, well, let's give this a try. The raisins are definitely kind of done. They weren't all that hot. But peanuts are peanuts, and they were still crunchy and everything else. Uh, a little bit of that chicken soup, chicken noodle soup. It's pretty dark broth. It almost looks like beef broth, but it really doesn't have like an overtone of chicken or anything, even though you see some little floaty bits in there. But it tastes like chicken, so that's all that really matters. And we'll try the, the apple cider. Uh... Mm -hmm. That is funky. I don't know if this died. Oh, that's got such a wicked aftertaste. Oh, it's got a wicked aftertaste. Let's try some of this hot chocolate. Ah, oh, yes, you need to go away. You were oh, that stuff is. If you ever get one of these, don't drink. Don't drink that. That is. Ah, uh, okay. This was the breakfast portion of a ration cold weather. In fact, this is packet 2A. I've got the lunch and dinner portion coming right up. So, see you in a little bit. Bye.